Greetings, my name is Mrs. Kennedy Thompson and I'm an SEO coach here in the MSD of Wayne Township for Rhodes and Garden City Elementaries and Chapel Hill 7th and 8th grade center. Previously, I taught 5th grade at Chapelwood and North Wayne Elementaries. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a teacher and had a passion for helping children learn. So for college, I attended Marion University and IUPUI School for Urban Education. Now I'm in my ninth year of teaching. I'm also a wife and a mother of two. Growing up, I was the youngest of three in my home with an older brother and an older sister. My sister has a blood disorder known as sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder that affects primarily African Americans and people of Mediterranean origin. Sickle cell is when red blood cells that normally look like round discs or circles are shaped like sickles or crescent moons instead. The sickle-shaped cells cause problems because they are stiff and sticky and block small blood vessels when they get stuck together. This prevents, this prevents oxygen from properly moving throughout the body. It can lead to organ damage, stroke, blindness, severe pain, and death. So today for Black History Month, we will look at the life of Dr. Yvette Faye Francis McBarnett, also known as Dr. Francis. She's a Jamaican-born medical pioneer in treating children with sickle cell anemia. Dr. Francis lived a life marked by high achievement. She grew up in Harlem, New York with her family and enrolled in Hunter College when she was 14. At the age of 14, students are typically only in ninth grade and she was headed to college. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in physics in three and a half years. It usually takes most people four years or more to get a bachelor's degree. At this point, she was deemed too young for medical school or even to work in a lab. So she earned a master's degree in chemistry from Columbia University instead. In 1946, when she was 19, she became the second black woman to enroll at Yale School of Medicine, which is one of the best medical schools in the United States. After medical school, she went on to direct a clinic at Jamaica Hospital Medical Center in Queens, New York, where Dr. Francis successfully used antibiotics to treat children with sickle cell anemia. She was pioneering the treatment 15 years before the medication's effectiveness was confirmed in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1993. In 1966, Dr. Francis and her colleagues established a foundation to continue research into sickle cell. By 1970, Dr. Francis's clinic had screened 20,000 children for the disease and started them on prescribed antibiotics. During the administration of President Richard Nixon, Dr. Francis was named a White House Advisory Committee whose recommendations led to the 1972 National Sickle Cell Anemia Control Act, which set aside federal funds for screening, counseling, health education, and research. Dr. Francis passed away in 2016. There was even a children's book written about her called Breaking the Sickle, a snippet of the life of Dr. Yvette Faye Francis McBarnett. Check that out in your local library. Today, there is still no cure for sickle cell. However, there have been advancements through stem cell transplants in some cases. But effective treatments like those from Dr. Francis can make life less painful and allow people with this disease to live a longer, more productive life. Dr. Yvette Faye Francis McBarnett has impacted many lives, including my family, especially my sister. Have a great day, guys.